little warriors Changing our world day by day The way of the crypto warriors Can't rely on the bank, there's no way Good morning, good morning, Big Square Roadroad.com. Good morning, Horn of Z's, your sip of Chaga coffee. All right, it is futures expiration date today. Uh, $26 silver. That guy's got everything locked down at the moment. <laughs> but to do that, yesterday they had to trade, quote, trade almost, uh, what was that, uh, 700 million ounces of fake silver. Um, it's a fraud. It's a scam. <laughs> Jeffrey Christian keeps coming on his YouTube channel and other YouTube channels trying to explain um, how a fraudulent market isn't fraudulent. And it's he's running around embarrassing himself. Um, but it, it, it's nothing I haven't seen for the last 20 years. Jeffrey Christian's bought and paid for by the banking cabal to run cover for their crimes. He still refuses to admit that J.P. Morgan was rigging the silver market, even after they paid $982 million to get out of jail. <laughs> he said, that's not a big deal. People do that to get lower prices for their customers. That's called market rigging, Jeff. Idiot. <laughs> anyway, so, but you always know when the bad guys are in stress, they'll, they'll trot out Jeffrey Christian. They'll trot out uh, Jeff Curry. They'll try out all these mouthpieces um, for the cabal, and they're going to get theirs one day. It might not be this day, but hey, what do you do? Um, yes, they just dumped, literally dumped yesterday, a huge chunk of the open interest, as they do every month, because they roll it over. Hey, if they're not going to bust us this month, let's roll it over to July, and we'll continue to rig the price. <laughs> So right now we're at um, and there's today's last trading day. They'll probably dump another ten thousand contracts. Um, I, I think they're gunning for about yeah, probably fifty thousand or I mean fifty million ounces delivered, which is uh, ten thousand contracts. Um, yes, it's painful for the cabal. They'll take it out of uh, J.P. Morgan's inventory. Uh, J.P. Morgan has over a billion ounces of physical, either on lease or under total ownership. Now, how is that legal, you might ask? The world's number one market rigger in silver owns all the physical silver. Um, it's because if silver was allowed to be freely traded, we'd be looking at $800 silver today. And then, you know, obviously $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 silver. But $800 silver today... The eight banks, they're all too big to fail banks. The eight banks that are short the silver, mainly the top four, uh, but the eight, that would be about a $300 billion loss to them, which would destroy those companies and set off the uh, derivative market collapse, and the entire world would collapse. I mean, you wouldn't be able to go get a uh, cup of coffee. You, know, you wouldn't be obviously worried about coffee. You wouldn't get food for your family. So that's why it's not allowed to happen. But at the same time, it causes massive market distortions, as in nobody can get this stuff, physical metal. Um, and that will continue for the rest of humanity until there's some free market trading. So one day, you know, I, I've always been a fan of pulling the, pulling the Band-Aid off and let's, let's get moving forward, but that's been 20 years I've been screaming for that. Um, and it's not going to be won by with the Wall Street guys. The Wall Street Reddit guys. It's not going to be won even by the good guys. It's going to be won when people stand up and say, hey, do, do we want to lose our country or do we want to keep our country? Do we want a free country or a socialist, embarrassing, manipulated life? I'm, I'm for the free country. So that's what I fight for. Because uh, I know free markets are the road to freedom. Governments are not the road to freedom. Regulators are not the road to freedom. Free markets, where it's buyer beware, much like the crypto markets. I can't tell you how many people lose their ass in the crypto markets from scams. You know, anybody saying, "Oh, but Bix, you texted me, you you sent me a message on uh, on Telegram asking me to send you your keys." No, I saw you. You you were answered. You were talking to me. It was your face. It was your it was your cartoon face. That's the one you use. It's all a scam, my friends. 
That's what a free market is. It's full of scams. That's why people don't put their hard-earned money in markets, and they shouldn't if it's a scam. Now, if you invent a way to do it that is a free market without the scam part of it, much like Reggie Middleton invented with Veritasium, then yeah, then people get comfortable and come back into the markets. But when you have a market that is a scam and it is a regulated scam by the U.S. government, that's like the, the worst of both worlds. So that's where we are. Um, again, this game will not be won on their territory. The comics will not allow <laughs> this game to end on their watch. It's going to end by you taking physical, getting in your own possession, and just sitting on it and keep loading up. And when the, the last ounce of silver is sold, or someone like Apple Computer freaks out, or Elon Musk freaks out and says, oh my God, I got to get my hands on some silver, or my entire co company will be destroyed because we don't have any silver to make our products. That's how that shit happens. And with silver trading at one half of its all-time high from 1980? <laughs> yes, absolutely. And, and don't tell me, oh, that was the manipulation of silver by the Hunt brothers. The Hunt brothers bought 100 million ounces of silver, physical silver, and then they bought around 110 million uh, ounces of silver longs on the comics, totaling $200 million, or 200 million ounces. 100 million ounces and 110 million ounces of futures. J.P. Morgan right now holds over a billion. How come they took out the Hunt Brothers, but they're not taking out J.P. Morgan with time, 10 times the amount of physical that the Hunt Brothers had. That's the kind of world we live in. That's where the deep state comes in. That's the bad guys. And that's where we're going to end. Uh, again, my take, let's do it now. Our friend, our friend Zzz, uh, Penny Kelly and Jean-Claude had a discussion. Uh, Penny sees it ain't going to happen. Silver ain't going to happen. It's going to be controlled for, a, a, she didn't really give a time frame, but it's not going to happen this coming um, August, $800 silver. I, I, of course, it won't happen to $800 silver. Well, we, because that would destroy everything. As in, you wouldn't be able to be watching this video. Because all money would be gone. All the infrastructure would be gone. All companies would collapse. The, the, everything bubble would pop. Um at $800 silver. Why? Because they have 400 million ounces short position. There you go. And uh, yeah, that's way too much money for these criminals to lose. Um, so yeah, that's where we stand. How much is that in losses? Let me get my calculator. So they have an eight, right now it's a, wait, Four hundred and eight hundred dollars silver. Right now, it's a oh, what is it? Four hundred million ounce short position. Uh, so four hundred million times eight hundred bucks is uh three hundred twenty billion dollar loss if it stopped at eight hundred for eight banks. None of them can can withstand that. None of them. Not one of them. So, uh, yeah, we won't see that. Now, what we, we're looking for is a break in the clouds, as Penny says, um, for the, the system, the control system, to be breaking down, which means we got to get over 30, 35 bucks and then let, let the free market kind of take hold, get people excited about silver, and then every time they see it slam down to say to the regulators, hey, what the hell? How come J.P. Morgan's allowed to have over a billion ounces when the Hunt Brothers had only 100 million? Of physical silver. Why is that legal? Why was it not legal back in the 1980s, in 1980, but it is legal now? And our, these regulators and these governments need to be held to account. So that's where we are. It's a great interview. Go check that out on Jean Claude's site and check out Penny's Patreon. She does a great Patreon. Um, so where's silver going? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's a fight worth fighting. That's why I, my take on silver. After 20 years, it is a fight worth fighting. And free markets are the road to freedom. We don't have free markets. That's why we are literally in jail. Humans are being held down by the banking cabal, 
by the bad guys, even by the good guys. The, you know, the Trump crowd, the Q crowd. You know, he could have ended it the day he got into office. He says, okay, no more no more silver manipulation. Then the entire system would have fallen down. That's what, not, what he wanted. He wanted to take out the bad guys. He got some, but you know. will he come back and save the day? I don't think he will, but I do think other people, the good guys, are still behind the scenes. I don't think anybody's in the White House right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane what's going on, and you're not allowed to know about it. Sorry. You're not allowed to know about it. You're not allowed to know about what the good guys are doing, what the bad guys are doing, the battles going on. You're not allowed. You are uh, spiritually mature enough. And what do I say to all of them? Fuck you guys. Leave us alone. Tell us the truth. Only the truth will set us free, and free markets will lead us to freedom. Anyway, check out that interview. Um, again, here we are with yesterday. They dumped uh, almost 100 million ounces. Like, what is that, 85 million ounces? Um, they dumped of their shorts. But, but, but look, it just rolled over to July to keep the game going, as Jeffrey Christian says. He is correct that in admitting market manipulation. He's really good at that. Of course, in commodity law, the futures and options contracts, it's illegal for them to uh, have any influence on price. Even though the head of the CFTC just said futures and options were available to tamp down the, the silver rise back in January. <laughs> Their laws don't even make sense to them anymore. And again, there is no physical silver market on the planet. So what do you do? Here's something you can do. Uh, invest in cryptocurrencies, but here's the problem with cryptocurrencies. Half of them, three quarters of them, are controlled by the deep state and the bad guys, and the pedos. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. Now, they're getting taken out, which is great, and I, I think that's a wonderful thing, and some of these will do great, and some will not. Um, those of you banking on XRP, I, good luck to you. Even if XRP goes to the moon, I wouldn't touch that coin with a 10-foot pole. Most people have no idea what it is or where it came from, or who, who was involved in the beginning. So you know, I don't blame people for believing in that quantum financial system bullshit. <laughs> I don't blame people for believing and hoping in freedom. They just, you know, they're being led astray. Everything, everything, everybody's being led astray. There was somebody ultra-liberal who went on Fox News, McGowan. Um, and she was she because she went on Fox News. The left is is completely shunning her and saying she's a traitor, even though she was talking about all her lefty views and she was talking about the cult of the Democrats and the cult of the Republicans. Everything is we're being lied to left and right. Whatever beliefs you hold true right now, question them every single day, because we're being lied to a lot. Anyway, that's where we are in this lovely situation. Um, Michelle White Dove has a new report out with a new coin. Go check that out on her Patreon. Um, I'm not going to buy it. It's, it's way too early. I don't understand it. It doesn't trade on any markets. I couldn't sell it. You could buy it pretty easy and the price is going up, but you can't sell it. There's no place to sell it. So I don't know. I'm, I'm sticking to what I, I know is massively undervalued and about to pop, which is theta and theta fuel. Um, and if you look at theta right now, you can get it for $11. It is going into the thousands, and it's not going to be that far off, which is a 100x move from here. I think it'll go to 10,000 before I, I'm not, I probably will never sell it. I'll pass it down to my kids. Silver manipulation lasted 170 years and is about to end. Within, within a, this year, let's just call it this year. What does the end mean anyway? A differently traded market, in my opinion, that's what that means. Um, theta is going to last for the next 170 years, in my opinion. Uh, theta is necessary for anything to work um, on the internet. That's a pretty damn big deal. That's why Theta is getting these patents approved instantly. Um, I hope everybody understands that, especially all you crypto people who... You know, most of the cryptos are controlled by the deep state. Theta is not, for the most part. Now, Binance, part of the deep state, has a lot of it. But they, they're losing a lot of it, too. 
everybody everybody who buys on Simple Swap, you're taking Theta and Theta Fuel away from Binance. <laughs> it's awesome. So yeah, Theta is going to be the number one. We're about that point when this guy, Tom Brady, announces. Oh, by the way, my company autograph that I'm just starting up, the big NFT, probably the biggest NFT company that's going to be out there, we're going to use the Theta blockchain. <laughs> that's my prediction. It's not. It, it was crypto viewing guys said something like that. A famous sports star slash CEO. Well, and then Brady announces he's going to run autograph NFTs, and it's like, hello, famous sports guy, CEO. So yeah, and Lionsgate is is part of the investing group, and Lionsgate is partners with Theta. I mean, it, it's I wouldn't say it's obvious, but the ramifications of Tom Brady coming out and saying, "Oh my God, you gotta buy Theta and Theta Fuel." I mean, look at this. Look, here's a memorabilia. Here's a signed jersey going for almost two and a half thousand dollars for a signature and a piece of cloth with his number on it. This stuff is huge. The NFT stuff is gigantic. Anyway, um, I looked at Theta Monitor or GuardianMonitor.io. I hadn't looked at it in a long time. I don't like looking at price. I, I know what's going to happen to Theta, so I don't really look at price. Um, but we're looking at uh, almost 60% staked, which is great. The big thing that keeps going up and up and up then will not stop. If you go down to uh, validator nodes, which are still at 14, that's going to go to 20. I wouldn't be surprised to see someone like Apple or Netflix or Samsung. Oh, no, Samsung's already in there somewhere. Um, or uh, Verizon. Some more big names go on that validator node list. But look at, look at uh, our buddies over at Gpool. Just kicking ass. 183 million uh, Theta tokens have been staked through Gpool. God bless them. Out of the bottom of their hearts, they are, they are giving us full uptime with their Guardian nodes. Bravo, Gpool. Uh, I was an early critic because I didn't understand what they were doing. I didn't, I didn't like the... Um, uh, at the beginning, you could do less than it was ten thousand theta that needed to be uh, you had to have to be staked, and they were doing it in fractional, so you had to send them your tokens. I, I it just rubbed me the wrong way. I said something about it. Uh, one of the main guys reached out to me and said, "Hey, let's talk about this," and we had a great talk, great conversation. And he's like, "I fully misunderstood it," um, but also they changed what they did, and, and they don't they don't do that anymore where you send them your tokens, which I think is great. Um, because with Gpool, you're just using their guardian node holder summary. Um, and it always stays on your own wallet. That's key in, in my world. And they're being, they're very, very, very successful because of that. I believe, uh, 183 million Bravo. That's over $2 billion in theta has been staked to the Gpool node. Um, I think I, when I started checking them out, I wrote it down somewhere. So about, it was like 17 million. And now it's 183, and that's going to grow and grow and grow. And um, especially one-click staking, I'm not exactly sure how that works, but uh, Gpool is working with Theta Labs on that one. So bravo, everybody who's still in Theta. There's huge things coming from Theta. I'm really excited about that. Uh, Jenny and I talked about the Theta, theta fuel ratio, which I think uh, anybody would benefit from. Checking that out, go to roadtorura.com, go to the member area if you're a private road member, and go to the Jenny Moonstone readings. And you will see, as it's loading, as my computer's too slow, uh, our last one we put up. <laughs> this cracked me up. I had my data shit on. I overimposed my cartoon face. Uh, theta versus Theta Fuel short-term prediction. This is the three-month prediction. Um, you might want to listen to that one if you're on the private road. Uh, and if you are not on the private road, join the private road and you get the coolest silver coin in the world for a one-year subscription. Um, gives you all access to all the discussions and analysis and over 3,000 uh, pages of of amazingness in silver and 
cryptos. But uh, we send you a silver coin to your front door. They're all numbered. That's rooted jumping up and down on the silver brick road, the cave of gold in the Grand Canyon. It's such a cool coin. I love this coin. It's an awesome coin. All right. Um, one more thing on Theta. <sighs> what is that, Big Swear? Is that clickbait? It is absolutely clickbait. Um, this is, I am going to be posting, I don't know when yet, the Theta Girl video. The song is done. We recorded it. We ma Josh made a great video of it. You, you notice you got the girl clickbait, but then you got the signs pointing to Theta is clickbait. <laughs> That's it was funny. I thought it was hysterical, and I know the the younger crowd on Theta TV is going to love this picture, <laughs> and they're going to love the song. Theta girl, go Theta, go Theta, go Theta, go. Uh, I don't know what day I'll be posting this, but. Very soon, very soon, song's going up, and you guys will love it. In the meantime, you want to hang out, drink some beer, and sing some songs, we will be, the the uh, Road to Ruta Freedom Roadshow is going to be at Bar Vigneto, Bar Vigneto, just below Phoenix, um, and it is the address, 7215 South Power Road, on Friday, May 7th, Friday, May 7th, starting at 2 p.m. going till 6 p.m. So it's an afternoon deal. Um, if you want to go, send an email to us just informing us it's free and you can just show up. Uh, but we need to get a head count, kind of. So send an email, team, T E A M, at roadtoruta.com and let us know that uh, you're going to be showing up and how many people you'll have. So we have an idea. It's It's already packed. I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> uh, Jenny Moonstone will be there, like at least a whole bunch of our friends. Um, my buddy Will is going to be there. Will Lair of Perpetual Assets. You guys don't know Will yet? Go to perpetualassets.com and get your IRA out of the system. You better do it fast. Uh, again, perpetualassets.com. And you can hold cryptos in your own possession in your retirement account without facing the, the penalties of withdrawal. And you you know you have you can trade it within your retirement account. You don't have to pay tax until you start pulling that money out. It's deferred taxation um, on a self directed IRA, and it's in your own possession. That's the key: silver, gold, and cryptos in your own possession in your IRA. No third party. There's a lot of third parties. They'll say, "Oh yeah, we'll keep cryptos and and silver for you." No third parties. Remember that. No third parties. So contact Will Lair PerpetualAssets.com. So I got for you. Um, I might play a little bit of Theta Girl as we're going out. Why not? No, I'm going to hold off. I'm going to hold off. This is Vic Swear. I'll talk to you guys later.